Hello everyone, welcome back to our BGP photo hands on. This is demonstration is continuation of our previous demonstration where we went ahead and made use of the local preference for the route influence. You know, that's how we went ahead and you know influence the BGP's mechanism for the route selection. In the previous demonstration, we saw one of the ways to go ahead and you know do the route influence with the help of local preference where on the receiving router r1 we went ahead and changed the local preference for all the external route to a higher value and when those were getting advertised the peers were selecting that now we'll go ahead and use the similar thing but in this demonstration we'll go ahead and make use of route maps and yes again we are back to route map because as we mentioned earlier on route map is a very very powerful concept you could go ahead and use the route map for so many uh, things and this is another demonstration in the same thing where we'll go ahead and make use of route map for the route again influence uh, again we would be using the same topology that we use the four router topology we would be doing the same thing where we would be influencing our router r2 not to pick the routes that it's receiving directly from its ebgp neighbor isp1 but take the route that it is learning from r1 but this time we will be using a slightly different approach with the help of a route map. So before we go ahead and do that, let's quickly take a look at the route table on the router R2. So show IP BGP and you could see that again, we are receiving quite a few prefixes and you could see like this particular prefix we are receiving from IBGP as well as our EBGP. At the moment 12.11 ISP 1.12.1 is our router R1. And right now the path for these prefix towards our router isp1 is the preferred one and you could see the local preference is being again set 100 and that's how we went ahead and you know, verified again uh, we are not playing with any of the attributes you could see the weight is again left to zero and again the default mechanism for the rar r2 would be to prefer the ebgp paths over your ibgp path and that's what we could clearly see here it is picking up the path uh, ebgp path versus the IVGP path and that's what we want to go ahead and influence the route selection but now instead of last time we went ahead and configured or changed the local preference for all the external routes on R2 on the on the R1 I'm sorry now this time we will go ahead and make use of the route map where will we go ahead and change the we will go ahead and change the local preference for any of the routes that we are receiving from ISP1. So when we are receive, going to receive routes from ISP1, we'll go ahead and change the local preference for those routes to a lower value because we remember from previous demonstration, the higher the local preference, the preferred the route. So we'll go ahead and set the local preference for the routes that we are receiving directly from ISP1 to a lower value, while we will leave the routes that we are receiving from R1 to a default value. Because again, default would be 100, and if we go ahead and set a lower value for the routes that we are receiving from ISP1 to a lower value, so that means the route which has a higher local preference, which would be preferred. So let's go ahead and you know do that. Again, we'll go ahead and make use of the route map. So we'll say route map. Again, we need to go ahead and give it a name. So route map, we could just simply say from ISP1. And after that, we can go ahead and use the permit and deny keyword. If you do not specify anything, permit is default. And we need to, we can go ahead and give a sequence number. So now let's go ahead and use a sequence number of 10. Again, you know, you remember in the case of route map, we have a match. And if we have a set, if you do not specify a specific match, that means match all. And then we can go ahead and simply set some criteria if we need to go ahead and do that. And we are interested in matching anything from isp1 and any route that matches what we want to go ahead and do that we are using the set command where we are interested in changing the local preference so we'll go ahead and say the local preference and again we could go ahead and provide a value so let's go ahead and change the value to maybe 50 in this particular case so we went ahead and configured a route map where we are not matching anything specific we are leaving it to match all but we are using the use of the set keyword to change the local preference to 50. Now as we have learned in the past once you have configured a route map these are configured at per neighbor level so now we need to go inside our BGP process so the BGP process on these routers are 
DGB process one and the neighbor statement we need to give the IP address of our neighbor 172.16.12.11 and one of the keyword that we need to use here is the route hyphen map followed by the route map name and the name of the route map that we had used is from ISP1 and again in what direction now we are not sending the updates towards this ISP1 but any updates that we receive from ISP1 that is the time you want to go ahead and apply this route map and in this route map we are saying hey match everything and for everything match just go ahead and change or set the local preference to 50 so we need to go ahead and apply that is in the incoming direction again we had learned from the previously that it won't affect any of the existing previously learned prefixes so if we need to go ahead and apply everything we can go ahead and simply clear our bgp session so clear ip bgp star let's go ahead and do that that would go ahead and tear down the bgp enable and it would bring it back up now just give it a couple more seconds now let's go ahead and take a look at the show ip bgp but before i do that we know from the previous output that we were receiving the prefixes from both our router r1 as well as from isp1 and the path towards the isp1 was the preferred path because the local preference was left to a default of a zero when everything was left to default of zero evgp routes are preferred over the ivgp now we went ahead and influenced that with the help of a route map by setting a local preference for any route that we are receiving from this neighbor we are applying that route map and that route map is matching everything and for every match it is just setting the local preference to 50. so now let's go ahead and take a look at our bgp table on our r2 now we could see that for the same prefix now for the routes that we are receiving or the prefix that we are receiving from isp1 has a local preference of 50 while for the same prefix that we are receiving from r1 has a default preference of 100 that means higher the preference the better the path so we went ahead and influence the again the path selection for the router r2 this time we made use of the route map where we are saying hey any prefix that we are receiving from this particular neighbor we are setting the local preference to 50 and that's the another way we can go ahead and make use of the route map to influence our path selection again for bgp again guys you know route map is a very very powerful concept so hopefully you get the idea how we can go ahead and make use of route map again that'll be all for this demonstration i will see you guys next time thank you